Hey people, welcome to Strange Learnings. Today in this video we are going to talk about writing a program for information gathering. That includes grabbing banners, host names and IP lookups. We are gonna use an API from a website which is ipinfo.io. That will help us find the information like location, region, city and country of the website that we are using or that link that we have provided with the website. So we are gonna import some of the uh, modules. The first one is sys module so that we can present with an error message when it find any error with the input. Okay. Then we are gonna import for request so that we can uh, send and uh, sorry we can get request from HTTP or HTTPS. For now in this program we are only gonna use HTTPS because various website or maximum number of website these days use HTTPS services. Then we are gonna use a socket okay. Uh, and then we are gonna import a module called JSON which is for uh, uh, this module is for uh, uh, working with APIs. If you are working on your Python program with, a with APIs then we use this module which is JSON. Starting with an if condition, we will provide with that the length of the sysarg, which is the input by the user is greater than, sorry, smaller than two. Then it will uh, print with a message that you are not going fine and telling it with the usage. And telling the user about the usage, it will also include the argvim message okay which is the input from the user which is sys dot a r g v now import system uh, sorry import sys module is in here in this program is used for getting input from the command lines in the terminal or the part or the uh, situation where you are using it either it's a linux terminal or whatsoever terminal it's for uh, uh, getting input from the system okay then providing with the uh, to the user that you have a mistake which is the URL. So writing it easy, you can print whatever you want according to your error display message. Putting in sys exit to exit if the if condition is not true. Okay. Then uh, uh, getting on a variable which is a requ and then starting with requests. Okay. and then we are gonna get request from https okay so https as i mentioned that maximum number of sorry my bad maximum number of websites use https so we are only gonna get request from https putting in again with the sys arg which is the input which is the website link putting it on a uh, one and just getting on the next line we will print that uh, and we'll print on a new line okay and we will print with the string version okay converting the request header to the string and then we will print it okay and then we have a uh, variable we have to assign a variable for get host by name using socket module so we will assign a variable let's take it get host by and putting it equal to uh, socket dot uh, get host by name okay and putting in the host name which is sys dot a r g v the input from the user putting inside a square bracket one to assign it as true or the value of that print the in the next line we are going to print for uh, okay my bad i have messed with the new line on the above okay getting in there and then the IP okay address of and here will be a space and then we will be adding the 
SYS dot ARGV which is the website link putting that is square bracket one and then putting in a plus and then again starting with curly brace uh, sorry uh, braces and then putting in is and then plus get host by okay plus and then a new line okay so now uh, just check out here this uh, this part here this is for getting the IP address we are using socket to get the IP address uh, using the argument get host by name from the sys arg which is the input link okay then we have the next thing which is for getting the IP lookups so assigning this part as IP info and then starting with a request so here we are gonna put request and two okay uh, assigning a variable name putting in a request uh, dot get and putting in the link of the website which we are gonna use for the API HTTPS and then IP info dot io and uh, this will be inside a uh, braces and then putting in get host by plus json okay so then we'll put json getting on the next line we have to get a response which is using the json module for a loads and then printing the rec and two okay from the above dot text then we have to print some arguments like uh, it's not arguments it the uh, details so for location putting in plus and uh, response okay yeah you can check out this is the response part here so we are got uh, put that here so that we can get for that inside uh, uh, sorry we missed uh, starting with the square bracket inside square bracket put in a, a location loc for location then printing again we have to get for region okay and for the region we have to get on with the a response again so putting an resp again plus sorry not plus uh, the square bracket is that a square bracket we are gonna uh, region for region okay it's not like that and then printing again getting for city for city again putting in for response right and then putting for response is uh, city then this is the last thing that we need to print which is the country and uh, then adding response for the country okay now we are done with our program so this is the one check it out if any issues let's run it okay and check first of all let's get a yeah it says uh, expected okay no it's fine so let's uh, run from here or you can run from here i will run from here and sys r dot two okay i missed something here okay running it we got this part which means this program will run properly now getting on the terminal what we need to do is you check out here okay 
here we will type in python dot uh, python main dot py okay and uh, just for now just pressing in on enter here you can see that we got an uh, something like this this is usage and then main dot py and main dot py and url which means usage displayed like that you need to input main dot py with the url so now let's uh, get with the url i something forward i get on space so that it looks more attractive getting on the terminal again okay enter again and now it's looking pretty fine now we'll uh, use a website for that which is uh, google.com so now guys check this out okay we are executing the program and let's get on the output and bingo here we got the details this is uh, all the details that we got through banner grabbing this is the IP address of the google.com okay dot com is the IP address for google.com okay here we need a space so that this will not be looking like this and running the program again here okay so after running the program we got this proper the ip address of the google.com is this and the location is this region california city mountain country us so hope you guys understood how this program is working this is not more than a line of uh, 22 yeah 20 not more than 22 lines of code to get a proper tool that you can create your, uh, on your own self for uh, banner grabbing or information gathering so if you want more videos like this make sure to do subscribe and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you for watching this video and stay connected with us